Stop GMO. Stop GMO. I am a genitally modified organism and I resent that. I don't want to be a genitally modified organism. Every day in Australia some boy is made into a genitally modified organism. That can't be correct. We're born anatomically correct, aren't we? We are. And then we're subject to, this is boys, we're subject to uh, uh, genital um, mutilation or what you could call genital modification. GMO. We make these boys into genitally modified organisms. That's GMO, isn't it? GMO should be stopped. I'm a genitally uh, modified organism, yes, and I resent that. And uh, yes, all the people at the Australian Human Rights Commission, they don't mind if boys are genitally modified. They really don't. From the top down, from the president of the Human Rights Commission to the, uh, what, there's the Sex Discrimination Commissioner, there's the Children's Commissioner, and even the Disability Commissioner we had, he didn't ever uh, defend uh, genital integrity as a human right. The disabling of boys' genital integrity, that's appalling. So the uh, president of the Human Rights Commission, she speaks about her wish to educate all children in the fundamental human rights. Of course, fundamental human rights include uh, genital integrity. And the Sex Discrimination Commission, of course, talks about equality on grounds of gender, but little girls aren't subject to uh, genital modification, they aren't. It's only boys that are subject to genital modification. The uh, Children's Commissioner, again, she is never going to defend a boy's right to genital integrity, but she will defend a girl's right to genital integrity. We need female champions of change, don't we? There are women in power at the Human Rights Commission who will not defend male genital integrity. They don't care if boys are genitally, genitally modified. That's appalling. Stop GMO. I'm a genitally modified organism. They have no right to treat anybody like that. They don't. They don't.